on the ground tracking just north of Newcastle into Moore um, and then into the southeast sides of Oklahoma County, of Oklahoma City, that is, um, for about 45 minutes at least. Sky 5 is flying overhead. Uh, we told you that it moved through a very highly populated area there along I-35 um, near the Warren Theater that so many of you have been to and recognize that's where they're staging right now to try to get to these damaged areas for any of the rescue effort. I-35 is closed right now in Moore because of debris that is over the interstate. They're asking people to stay away from that area. Please do not try to travel up in that area because they're trying to get their crews through mm -hmm. and trying to clear out the interstate as well so uh, they can get through. Uh, OHP has actually called an ODOT to help in that process to remove some of that debris. Yeah, you're not going to get in that area. You know, I was just looking at pictures. I've been taking pictures all through the afternoon of Damon on television and at 256 you can see this tornado starting to come to the ground. Then I've got another picture at 257. It's just hitting the ground. And then the, the third picture is 258 and you can see this thing getting wider and wider and bigger. And then once again, I mean, seconds later, not even a minute later, this thing is huge, big, and just black as night. I'm actually going to be heading down to the staging area right now to see some of the damage for myself there. Um, the Warren Theater where they have crews who are coming in right now. We've even heard that um, some of the injured are being brought into that area. And right now we are joined by um, Damon Lane's wife, actually, Melissa Newton, who lives in uh, Moore. And Melissa, you were home when this hit. I had just got home. I got a text from Damon about 2 o'clock maybe 2.30, saying I would suggest leaving work early, get home, get our dogs, get into the shelter. And um, so I was driving home, actually crossing into Moore right around 3 o'clock, listening to Damon on the radio, and I heard him say, tornado is on the ground, crossing I-44. I looked to the west, and I, I see it as I'm on I-35, heading south hail about the size of golf balls was just pounding my car at the time. I got home, uh, got our dogs as fast as possible and got into the shelter. And right afterwards, probably within five minutes, that storm hit. Wow. And this, this is, I mean, this is right, Damon was telling us, this is right by you guys' house. Uh, it's in our neighborhood. In fact, um, now that I'm out and I'm looking around, I mean, our neighborhood is covered in debris. There are shingles and um, pieces of sheetrock and uh, wood in our yard and all across our neighborhood. Some homes actually in our neighborhood and the neighborhood right next to us are completely gone. Um, it's, it's devastating. There's uh, two by fours that are going through people's roofs like projectile objects. I mean, it's a mess. And Melissa, you are a former reporter actually here at KOCO, so you have covered these types of storms before, but to live through it yourself, to see that tornado when you're on the interstate and rush into your home, you sound like you're still a little bit shaken. Uh, how are you I, doing just personally? You know, I have, se I have seen this kind of damage before, and so it isn't necessarily the damage that has me shaken up. It was hearing the storm as it came over my house, this loud roaring or whirling sound and I remember as a reporter and I would interview people in these situations and they would say it sounded like a freight train and I mean that would be an accurate assessment. It was just so loud and our dogs were just down on the ground just shaking mm. bless their hearts. It was a it was a frightening experience. Thank God we had a shelter and I just pray that our neighbors and all of the people who live around here are also safe as well. Melissa, thank you for talking to us. I know Damon is over there listening to you very intently because self-service has been so spotty and more. You guys haven't even really been able to talk at all. So we certainly appreciate what a, what a story to go through that. And we're going to hear so many more stories. I tell you what, the storm shelters are worth the investment Every to penny. get. Yeah. Every single penny. Uh, Damon, you know, you were tracking this storm and you live in Moore. So you know exactly the landmarks, mm -hmm. exactly what was in 
in the path of this tornado and you knew that it was coming right towards your neighborhood yeah, as we well. Yeah, we can hear the concern in your voice. Yeah, when you see a tornado that is going up to H.E. Bailey, and any storm that moves in that direction will impact the Oklahoma City Metro. And it's not until they begin that right turn east of the H.E. Bailey, east of I-44, when they strengthen. It was a path that was very similar to May 3rd, 99 there as it crossed over H.E. Bailey. And we started listing off communities that we were saying back on May 3rd. We are saying Bridge Creek. We are saying, you know, Newcastle. We were saying more. So I was watching the storm go in, and, and of course, just because I, I travel through more every single day, and as you just heard from my wife on there, I'm very familiar with the area. I knew exactly where the tornado was. I knew where the train tracks were. You probably heard me listing off the Walmart, Subways, the Cleveland County Health Department, so the, uh, the Highland Junior High. So I know this area, and, and once again, it's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a situation where as a meteorologist, we're still impacted, you know, we still have feelings, and of course, when you see a tornado going right into your neighborhood, right over your house, it's very difficult sometimes for us to remain composed on air, but we do, we absolutely do, and this is still a very busy day, and we're not putting our guard down, we're not going to put our guard down until everything is in the clear and everyone is safe all right and we still continue to watch this storm this is just north of meeker probably seeing some large hail just right around there right around rossville and again probably the hail that we are seeing that is within this storm right here is going to be large it's probably going to